Welcome everyone to the 33rd annual volunteer salute for the city of Centerville. Welcome. An older gentleman was walking along the shore after a very heavy storm. The shore was littered with starfish and sand dollars blown in from the storm, drying out and dying on the beach. While walking the shore, the older gentleman came across a young boy picking up starfish after starfish and sand dollar after sand dollar and flinging them back into the water. The older man stopped and asked the young boy, why do you bother? You are not saving enough to make a difference. The young boy picked up another starfish and sent it spinning back into the water. The young boy looked at the older gentleman and said, made a difference to that one. <laughs> a short time later, that same day, a little girl and her mother were walking along that same shore, still littered with starfish and sand dollars blown in from the storm, drying out and dying. While walking the shore, the little girl and her mother came across a young boy and an older gentleman picking up starfish after starfish and sand dollar after sand dollar and flinging them back into the water. Volunteering is at the very essence of being a human. Simply put, no one has made it through life without someone else's assistance or guidance. Welcome to the 33rd annual volunteer salute for the city of Centerville. We could not have made it with all of, without all of your volunteer efforts. Thank you very much. So please rise if you're able and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much for being here. We are able to celebrate because of you the dedicated volunteers who give up your time to assist our city departments and contribute to city operations. You make Centerville the wonderful place that it is to live. Just while we're here tonight, while with all the volunteers here tonight, I wanted to take an opportunity to introduce a few people this evening, if I could, some from the city council and some from city staff. And first, I'd like to introduce those of you who have not had an opportunity to meet, you will a little bit later in our evening, meet our new city manager, Wayne Davis. Wayne, where are you, Wayne? Right there. Okay. Also, like, if you haven't had an opportunity to meet yet, you probably have, but Karen Andrews, our clerk of council. Karen? Karen's right there. Okay. <laughs> From our police department tonight, we have Lieutenant Joe Levine, Officer John Davis, and Sergeant Mike Yoder. From Yankee Trace, we have Steve Marino, Matt Dooley, Terry Taylor, and Jason. And Jason's probably not in there, but Steve and Matt and Terry, Jason, Raji. From Public Works, Doug Spittler, the Director of Public Works. Then Doug always asks for that individual applause. It's just, it's kind of Doug's style. That's uh, uh, Mary Lou Pence, Jamie Filan, and Carrie Ledman. Karen Ledman. <laughs> From building is um, Margo Posick. From planning, Andrew Rodney and Julie Weaver. Benham's Grove, Randy Bishop. <laughs> From the city manager's office, we have Jim, Jen Brumby, Kristen Gottman, Maureen Russell Hudson, and Wayne Davis, the city manager. And Maureen, I think that is it from city staff. If I'm, or is there any other staff member I may not have introduced? I, I apologize if I did not. Okay, great. Then I'd like to introduce just briefly a couple members from council. First, uh, we have former mayor Sally Beals is here this evening.
All of us have great respect for what Sally did for the city, as a, not only as a council member, but as her eight years as mayor. And also, we have Deputy Mayor Belinda Kenley. It's right up front here. And the bell this evening was brought to you by council member John Beals. <laughs> Councilmember John Pulcher. <laughs> Councilmember Bill Sayre. Yeah. And Councilmember Joanne Rao. <laughs> Before we get started tonight, I just wanted to mention a longtime member of Centerville staff, uh, Chief Bruce, Bruce Robertson. Uh, the chief spent his entire professional life with the city of Centerville, starting as a cadet back in 1978, rising to chief in 2011, and then ending as uh, chief in 2018 when he retired earlier this year. His dedication to the citizens of Centerville was outstanding. Uh, we have an outstanding police department, and that did not happen by accident. And it is because of the dedication of the men and women, the leadership in the department, and the day in and day out professionalism of those men and women of the Centerville Police Department and the volunteers here this evening. If you have a chance to see Bruce Robertson, thank him for a, a tremendous job that he did on behalf of the city. Well, <laughs> tonight I just want to briefly recognize and remember a couple volunteers who have passed away since our last dinner in May of 2017. Uh, Jean Baer, who was a volunteer with the police department, and Betty Ann Perkins, who was very active throughout the city, particularly with respect to the historical society. Each of, those, each of them made a significant contribution to our city, the volunteer program, and we thank and remember them and their service. Now at this time, I'd like to call up Bill Sayre for the invocation. Bill? Let us be in a spirit of prayer. Let it, dear God, tonight we stand before you with great appreciation for the gift of community that you have bestowed upon us. We often take for granted the awesomeness that is Centerville. So tonight we are determined to give you thanks and praise for this abundant gift. We are grateful that in your infinite wisdom you have inspired and called men and women to serve as volunteers to characterize the heart and soul of our community as a sign of your presence. We acknowledge that the motivation, energy, talent, and ability for our volunteers to perform meaningful tasks comes from you. And we recognize that our volunteers perform their work intentionally in response to your call to love our neighbors. Tonight, we give thanks for the volunteers who serve on the many city boards, commissions, committees, and task forces, as well as for the almost 150 civic volunteers who provided more than 13,500 hours of volunteer service to the various city departments, offices, and facilities last year. We appreciate the stewardship of their time which saved the city at least $315,000 in 2017, according to estimates determined by the Independent Sector Organization. But more importantly, we are thankful for the underlying love and devotion of the volunteers that weaves the fabric of a strong and caring community. We are thankful for each volunteer who answers your call to service. Lord, we would be remiss if we did not also give thanks for the city staff who enables and encourages the work of the volunteers. We give you thanks for all of our city employees and for the many benefits we experience in Centerville, for our homes, our schools, our police, our parks, our churches, and all of our amenities, including this great facility. Dear God, we ask you to bless the food we are about to eat and the fellowship we share. We give thanks for all who produce this food and for those who prepared and will serve this meal. May our bodies be nourished and our community strengthened as a place where your love is expressed through our actions. 
At this time, since all of you probably have not had an opportunity to see or hear much about Wayne Davis, ask him to come up just for a couple minutes and tell us a little bit about himself, a couple things that are going on in the city, and then we'll go forward after Wayne's done with presentations. Mr. Davis. Thank you, folks. So welcome, everybody. Thank you, uh, Mayor Compton. Um, so uh, engaged citizens, I think uh, Mr. Sayre, Council Member Sayre, re referred to as the fabric of a community. And I think uh, volunteers truly epitomize what, uh, what engaged citizenship is all about. Uh, they become the fabric because they're, they're engaged, they want to be a part, they intertwine with, uh, with governance, with business, with citizens, with volunteer groups and institutions to make a, make a community much better. And I think uh, we don't have a better example of that than here in Centerville, Ohio. So we're very fortunate uh, to be able to have that. Uh, before dinner, I was having a conversation uh, with uh, somebody who will remain nameless, Kathy Jablonski. Um, <laughs> and she was talking about, you know, uh, what she struggles with uh, as a volunteer is uh, she struggles with saying no. Um, you know, taking the time out and saying, you know, maybe I shouldn't overload myself with that. But that's what volunteers truly do. They, they make a commitment. They give of themselves. And one of my maxims in life is really, when, once you begin to, you stop making a contribution, you begin to die. And, and I tend to think that that's really what all of us believe in here this evening. Certainly it's epitomized through everything that volunteers do for our community. Council Member Sear talked about $315,000 worth of services that are provided by all of you. So I think you ought to give all of yourself a round, a round of applause. So one thing we are working on at the at the city of Centerville is we working we're working on establishing a mission, a vision, and a set of values for how we conduct our business at the at the city of Centerville. These are still in draft uh, draft state at this point in time. City Council will give their final blessing to to these as we go forward. However, I will just share with you if I can see it. I need a longer arms here. Um, the mission statement uh, that we have, again, in draft format, talks about the city of Centerville delivers exceptional services through thoughtful governance to ensure progress and stability. So again, I think that's what you bring to the table for us as volunteers, and we're forever grateful. Our vision statement has a number of key, uh, key descriptors in it and criteria in place for what this uh, city should look like now, but also into the future. And I just read to you and, and end on one note here. It talks about, we are known for engaged citizens and dedicated volunteers. That's what we think uh, of you. We think it's a very important part of what the vision should be for our community going forward. And we say thank you for all you do. On your table, on your table, you have a statement about all the activities that are available for the celebration of Centerville's 50th year as a city. So take a look at that, and you'll see that it starts in June, runs all the way through December. Where on December 2nd, uh, this this year, 2018, it will be the final celebration because that's the day that Centerville became officially a city. Was in December on December 2nd of 1968. Again, thank you all for being here, and let's, I'd like, to, if you would, to thank Jason and the staff for putting on, as usual, another terrific meal for us here at Yankee Trace. <laughs> and also, uh, a round of applause for Maureen, organizing volunteers, organizing this event, and all the great things she does for the city of Centerville. Maureen, you do a terrific job. She's also an umbrella model, in case you didn't know that. <laughs> Just a little history tonight. This is the 23rd year of Yankee Trace. It's the 23rd year of Friends of Benham's Grove. It's the 33rd volunteer dinner. 
It's our 50th year as a city. It's the 52nd year of Centerville, Washington history, and it's exactly 222 years after this area was settled. So it, it, it's hard to believe that, that, over, that 50 years ago, Centerville became a city right after the 1968 election. Richard Nixon was elected president that year. Like today, there were many volunteers who propelled Centerville forward to become the city that it is today. Stubbs Park, Benham's Grove, Americana, and Yankee Trace were not here back in 1968, and were it not for all the volunteers making each of those Centerville assets possible and sustained, they would be names that are unheard of today. And we remember, all of us who have been around here, we do remember probably very few, if any of those who volunteered back then in 1968 and before and from the time that this area was settled. But we do know that they did, and they were, and we are the recipients of their good and hard work and are thankful that they did so. And like today, those in the years ahead will probably not know the names or remember you specifically as a volunteer for the city of Centerville, but they will know that someone cared enough and volunteered to help sustain, build, and advance a successful and beautiful city that Centerville has become in the, over these years. So you also know that as a volunteer that you are continuing a tradition that started really from very historical area, as we all know, we take our history very seriously here, that great tradition of being a volunteer started 222 years ago and culminated 50 years ago when we became a city. And we know that in 2068, we will, probably very few of us will be here, but in 2068, they'll proudly celebrate 100 years as a city. And you all know that you had an opportunity and did so and participated in its success. And I always like to end my comments at the volunteer dinner with this one quote, that volunteering has been described as the ultimate exercise in democracy. You vote in elections once or maybe twice every year. But when you volunteer, you vote every day about the type and kind of community you want to live in. On behalf of the City Council and the staff and the residents of the City of Centerville, we thank you for voting every day as a volunteer. So thank you very much. At this time, we are going to recognize and have service awards. And as part of this year's service recognition program, volunteers with five years of service or more receive special recognition at the volunteer dinner. And there's a, it's an asterisk at each of their names in the program this evening. So that's as typical as I think most communities and cities are realizing and, and having to recognize is that it's difficult to have volunteers. And Centerville has an unbelievable amount of volunteers, and we are very and extremely fortunate that that's the case. So we do thank you for your service. Now, if, at this time, if I could ask the members of the council to come up front to help distribute the, the special awards this evening. We're going to start over here for five years. I'll get rid of that. Thank you, John. Thank you. If you, uh, we're going to call for the special service awards for years of service. We'd ask if you'd just come up and have an opportunity to thank you, council to thank you, and then get the award. For five years of service, Bill Abrams and City Beautiful Commission. Volunteering here at Yankee Trace, uh, Dennis Beasley. Dennis. Dennis, thank you. With CRA Housing, John Hazelton, for five years of service to the city.
Also five years, Pete Jones at Yankee Trace. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jerry Krause, five years, also Yankee Trace. Thank you. Thank you. Also, five years at Yankee Trace, John Salvatore. John, thank you. Also, at Yankee Trace for five years of service, Al Tokarski. Now we're moving to, moving to 10 years of service. Betty Lou Carney from the Arts Commission. For 10 years of service, from the police department and the city manager's office, Ruth DeWitt. Also, 10 years in the city manager's office and the police department, Mike DeWitt. For the Board of, Board of Architectural Review, Frank Holloway, for 10 years of service. <laughs> Thank you very much. Community Resources Office, Jackie Martindale, 10 years of service. And for 10 years of service at Yankee Trace, Parker Wolf. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> now we're over on the Now for 25 years of service, for serving on the Sister City Committee for 20 years, 25 years, Susie Holloway. Thank you, Susie. Susie, you've seen a lot for Sister City over the years, haven't yes, you? Have. Yes. <laughs> Don't dwell on it. <laughs> and for 25 years, John and Barbara Reedes have 
Work volunteered in the city manager's office, videotaped numerous city and community events over the years, and they also received the Mayor's Award for Community Service in 2007. Uh, John and Barb Moradis. And from the Planning Commission, five years of service, Bob Musicek. Bob, here's your five year plan. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Ooh, you haven't lost anybody with that thing yet. <laughs> Last year, we recognized uh, Rob, Bob Perkins uh, for his 40 years of volunteer service to the city of Centerville first on the Board of Architects Review and later on the Planning Review Commission. Uh, he and Betty Ann, uh, Betty Ann just passed away just recently, within the last several months, well last year. They were longtime volunteers for the city and supporters of our community. And Bob was recognized at a Centerville Council meeting earlier this year and it was a very nice ceremony. So Bob, I know you're not here tonight, but uh, we all thank you for all, of, all that you did. He also, all of, the volunteers this evening have been, been involved in a lot of different boards and commissions and I'm going to go ahead and just briefly go through the commissions and ask and the boards and ask if you're part of that to stand up when at the end after do a little bit of explanation of uh, what's involved in each one of the different boards and commissions. The first is the Centerville Planning Commission of which Bob was a member and they work with the city staff reviewing plans and, and making sure that the developments are in accordance with the city's vision, create the vision, and the unified development ordinance. Last year in 2017, the Planning Commission ruled on over 40 cases of various types. Among the highlights were the multifamily developments near Loop Road, Pure Healthcare Medical Facility, and, and work on the main campus expansion at Miami Valley Hospital South, a Core Life at the Cornerstone North Development, and the new luxury attached housing out here at Yankee Trace. So Paul Clark is the chair of the Planning Commission and those members of the Planning Commission, if you'd please stand and be recognized. We did. Okay. I did. And we have one additional one from Yankee Trace, which I glossed over here, I'm sorry. Uh, Walt Killer from Yankee Trace for 10 years of service. Walt, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me for that. Thank you. Oh, that's quite all right. Thank you, Walt. Thank you so much. Well, you don't want to say how young you are. <laughs> also, the city has a stormwater review committee, and they serve as the mechanism for open communication between the citizens on drainage concerns, and they meet at least every year and set up a budget for the improvements as far as the drainage needs throughout the city of Centerville. Those members, the stormwater uh, review committee, if you please stand. And I don't know who's here from Men of Henny tonight. That's been, uh, Jim, those who remember Jim Singer, that was Jim Singer's um, group that he headed up for many years. Also have the Centerville City Beautiful Commission, and that's comprised of volunteers, city staff members, and a liaison of city council. And three of its current members are master gardeners. And some of the uh, activities that they participated in this year was they hosted the Blades of Glory, an educational seminar, which is a great seminar put on at the high school every year. If you have a chance to go, Joanne is the representative for uh, the City Beautiful Commission, and it's a great event, and they really do a great job. 
They celebrated Arbor Day with all the kids. One of the pictures that you saw up there was from 2017 Arbor Day with all the kids at Benham's Grove. This year it was at Stubbs Park and they included the new city tree, which is the red horse chestnut in recognition of the 50th year. They plan and maintain the four corners at the AP District at Maine and Franklin. And this year you'll see, in fact, I, I believe that they're looking for help this Saturday from about 10 to 11. So if you would like to uh, bring your gloves and some gardening tools, you'll be more than welcomed right in front of uh, City Barbecue and Graders. Is that correct? So you can sign up before you leave and take an umbrella you sign up to participate. <laughs> You'll see also signs throughout the community where you recognize holiday and award winners uh, for decorations and also the, the landscape award winners throughout the, primarily during the summer. And also recognition of community pride awards for those months of July, August, and September. The City Beautiful Commission does a great job. Uh, if you look around the community, things look fantastic and they, they really do nice work and it's a great committee. Members of the City Beautiful Commission, please stand up. We really appreciate all that you do for the city. <laughs> we also have the Centerville Board of Architectural Review and uh, Charlie Graham's here tonight and Charlie you were chair of that committee for many years if I remember correctly and did a terrific job. The, those that, that don't know about the Board of Architecture Review, what it does, it, it stewards the community's historical resource in the downtown area, the AP district, and it takes care of signage and issues uh, regarding uh, to maintain that feel that, that is historically significant to the community. And they work each year with property owners who bring applications to them to either redevelop their buildings or signs or things like that. And the BAR works very hard to keep that consistent with the historical aspects of our community. And we had several winners. This year's co-winners for the Mayor's Preservation Award were Solomon and Angela Gomez which at 18-22 South Main Street and Todd and Andrea Burhart. Um, at 39 West Franklin Street. If you have a chance to go through the AP District, particularly the west and west of uh, Fra uh, Franklin and Maine, you'll see 1822 and 39, they both look uh, terrific. Uh, so appreciate that. And the corner right by the dentist office in what would be the southeast corner where the Gomez property, that it's hard to imagine what that was like just a couple years ago, but they've done a tremendous job with that, that particular building. So if you get a chance to see that and, and recognize them, they would appreciate that. The members of the Board of Architects Review, we appreciate all you do. If you'd stand up for recognition, uh, we'd like to give you some round of applause. Our Deputy Mayor, Belinda Kenley, she heads up the Business Task Force. And you, you've been running that, Belinda's been running that for several years. And that recognizes that there's over 700 businesses here in the city of Centerville. And that task force has done great work to improve the communication between the city and the businesses throughout our community. Belinda's done a great job with that. And I think Joanne's on that committee also. And John Beals. And John Beals. So if they're members of the business task force here this evening, if you please stand up for recognition. Done really good work. Okay. <laughs> Just recently, the, the city established what's called the New Community Authority, and that was with respect to the Randall property, the Randall residence here at the corner of uh, um, Social Row and Paragon and Sheehan. And that, that group that was appointed to the New Community Authority, they make sure that that development is, is orderly and also takes care of all the financial aspects of that. And their first project was the Randall residence. And with those members of the New Community Authority, please stand. The city has several committees and commissions and, and boards that meet, fortunately, not often. The one is the Board of Tax Appeals that deals with tax issues when a taxpayer has an issue with the city. The Property Review Commission, when a property owner is kind of at uh, crosswise with Sandy Heck, which nobody really likes to be at crosswise with Sandy Heck. Um, and if necessary, the Property Review Commission comes into play. The Personnel Appeals Board, that's if an individual from an employee has an issue with respect to an item for the city, and the School District Personnel Appeals Board, which deals with any school district employee who appeals an issue uh, regarding a personnel item. So would members of the 
Property Review Commission, the Personnel Appeals Board, the Board of Tax Appeals, and the School District Personnel Appeals Board. Please stand. Receive your appreciation. <laughs> Citizens involved in Centerville Civic, that's the municipal volunteer program, and that is celebrating its 33rd year. And as we all know, and the city knows, you do a tremendous job, and that's to the Civic is to encourage and provide opportunities for cities to participate in volunteer activities through the city government, through the police department, through any of the activities that the city is involved in. And Civic volunteers work in all of five city sites, the police department, the city building, public works, Benham's Grove, and Yankee Trace. And these volunteers that work at those facilities are all part of the Civic program. And in, I think as Bill mentioned in the invocation, and Wayne might have mentioned, just within those civic volunteers, and this doesn't include the boards and commissions, over 13,300 hours of service were provided by civic volunteers in 2017. That deserves a round of applause for all that you have done. You help out with the engineering office by plotting accidents, you scan documents, you serve as couriers for planning department and other aspects, you data entry, uh, photograph city events, Yankee Trace volunteers. Anybody who comes out and plays Yankee Trace is impressed with the greeting they get and the treatment they get throughout their playing of their nine or 18 holes here at Yankee Trace. And uh, Steve, that's a tribute to the program that you put together here and the volunteers who really help out greatly. But there are a lot of volunteers here at Yankee Trace. Police department volunteers. That is an essential service. You'll see the, the civic vehicle out there periodically throughout the streets with the signage board or speed board on the back. And also the Center Centerville Citizens Police Academy alumni volunteers work the special events like the bike rodeo, mystery night out, holiday crime deterrent programs, and they participate in the Special Olympics. Appreciate all that you do, civic volunteers, and those who are civic volunteers, if you please stand for a well-deserved round of applause. Several years ago, the city participated and passed the Community Reinvestment Act aspect for the city of Centerville, and it was important that we maintain the Community Re Reinvestment Area Housing Council, and that looks over the city's community reinvestment program. And each year they meet and go over what the requirements to comply with the, the guidelines for the CRA. And this year, it's been, it's been an active year for CRA, and I'd ask members of the uh, CRA Housing Council if they please stand. This is the 23rd year for the Friends of Benham's Grove. And as Sally knows, Benham's Grove has been a great asset to the city of Centerville. Sally was instrumental in Benham's Grove becoming part of the city and asked a very important amenity to the city. The Friends of Benham's Grove, they take care of the gardens and the grounds at Benham's Grove, and they develop special pro projects that further the cause of that facility and the organization. And over the years, the Friends have provided a great deal of financial support for Benham's Grove. They participated in the Rotary Gazebo Project, the Tent Plaza, the Pergola, the Celebration Gardens, and the Bam Plaza, and the Barn Plaza. And then many friends, uh, board members, are certified master gardeners. I think we probably have a higher per capita master gardeners in Centerville than just about anywhere. And each year they put on activities, and the friends invite all of you this year to attend a Coffee with a Gardener. Uh, featuring a show to, and tell a little bit about the city flower, the daylily, and that's going to be on Thursday, July 12 at Benham's Grove. So see a friend for a Benham's Grove uh, member for more details, and we really appreciate all that you do at Benham's Grove. It looks better every year. So if the friends of Benham's Grove would please stand and uh, get your recognition, well, again, well-deserved. We also have the Sister City Committee. Most of them are sitting right up front here. Um, they, last year, they took an exciting trip. I know Joanne Rao participated, members of the Sister City. John and Sally Beals participated, Steve Rao, Joanne's husband, took the trip to Bad Suisenon last summer. And the committee also um, is in search of a second Sister City, so if you have any recommendations, please bring them to the attention of our Sister City Committee. 
Uh, it's been a goal to, to spread international friendship and the relationship with Bad Suisenan over these many years has really been a great relationship. And I know that uh, the committee, when they went over last year, I, I believe they planted one of Centerville's trees over there. And, uh, John has brought back some pictures of that. Uh, they were very, very good hosts, if I know correctly. Uh, the Sister City Committee has done a lot over the years, and uh, would all members of the Sister City Committee please stand? <laughs> the Centerville Arts Commission promotes and presents art to our citizens. And over the year, the commission has done quite a bit, like most of the commissions. And this year, we'll hold the summer concert series over at Stubbs. And in 2017, they held 15 summer concerts, and over 17,000 people attended the performances. The Taste of the Arts, uh, featuring Dayton Opera, Ballet, and Philharmonic, was in 2017. They sponsored the Centerville Community Band's children's concert at Benham's Grove. They coordinated the rotating displays over at the police department, if you haven't had an opportunity to go over and see the display, it's open 24 hours. You can just go right into the gallery there at the police department and have an opportunity. There's always a special artist that the Centerville Arts Commission is, uh, has on display over at the police department. They sponsored the Centerville High School Symphon Symphonic Choir, Choir at the Hometown Holiday Walk, held the 13th annual Art at the Trace in February, and then sponsored the Centerville High School's Original Night. And there's a couple things coming up here. And I think on this Sunday is Moving Expressions that's presented by the Dayton Contemporary Dance Company at 3 p.m., uh, I'm sorry, this Saturday at Centerville High School Central Theater. Did I get that right, the Arts Commission? It's this Saturday at 3 o'clock? Okay, good. And the 16 summer concerts uh, series that's planned at Stubbs Park kicks off San, uh, sa Sunday, June 3rd. And the 14th annual Art at the Trace will be in February of 2019. So put that uh, on your calendar. So the Arts Commission, they do a great job. I know we have a number of members from the Arts Commission here today. If you'd please stand and take uh, recognition from, from people here today, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you to all our volunteers. We greatly appreciate it. Each year, they have the honor, the mayor has the honor to make a selection for the a Mayor's Award for Community Service. And this year, we have a number of people who have been awarded that Mayor's Award for Community Service. And I would, if you wouldn't mind, ask you to stand up if you're uh, present here today. I'm going to announce your name. I think all of these individuals are. Marty Hole was one of the Mayor's Award winners back in 1990. Marty. Marty and his wife uh, Vivian were the winners in 1990. 1997, Paul Hines. 2004, Bob Daly. As mentioned before, John and Barbara Moradis. They were the 2007. The 2008 award winner was Paul Clark. Yeah. 2012, Charlie Graham. Yeah. 2014, Jan Prettyman. 2015 was John Koontz. 2016 was Cindy Monner Clay. 2016 was Cindy Monner Clay. 2016 was Cindy Monner Clay. Thank you all for being here this evening. So this year, as we celebrate Centerville's 50th anniversary of reaching, a city, of reaching city status, it is fitting that tonight, we honor someone who has roots in our community that go back to when Centerville was just a village. This gentleman was there in 1968 when council learned the village would soon transition to a city and a city status and has had a front row seat watching Centerville grow over the past 50 years. While on paper, he has been an official city of Centerville volunteer since 2010, 
He was always alongside his wife, Marilyn, who served as Centerville's clerk of council for more than 40 years. After she passed away, his passion for volunteering grew and he has served not only the city, but Centerville, Washington history, his church and other service organizations. Phil McLaughlin's involvement in a number of city volunteers activities and a long time history of service has made him an ideal choice for this award. He serves every Friday as a courier for the city inner office mail, often filling in on other days. He's almost always there on Thursday, I know that. He also delivers packets for BAR and Planning Commission members. He's the former chair of the Sister City Committee He remain, and remains a member today. He was appointed to the Stormwater Review Commission several years ago and after working at the golf club at Yankee Trace for many years, he started volunteering here four years ago. He also participated in the Centerville Citizens Police Academy. Those who nominated Phil described him as friendly, kind, dedicated, hardworking, and the one to call for details about Centerville's history. He exemplifies the spirit and the commitment of the city's volunteer program, and it is my privilege and my pleasure on behalf of the council and all the citizens of Centerville to present the 2018 Mayor's Award for Community Service to Phil McLaughlin. In addition to his wife, Karen, here to surprise him and congratulate Phil are his son, Scott, daughter-in-law, Rachel, granddaughter, Vicki, and her husband, Brandon, along with other family and friends, Bob Janning, Lindy Pop, and Joyce Cope. Phil, come on up. Uh, Phil, for all you've done for the city and for our community and for the city of Centerville specifically, just a small award in recognition um, of your award of the Mayor's Award for Community Service in 2018. Well deserved and congratulations. We're honored that you've been a citizen here for all these years and all that you've done. Thank you and very much. Great to be part of your city. Thank you. Guess I'm supposed to say a few words. You are to say a few words. <laughs> <laughs> Can everybody hear me okay? Okay. I, you know, I don't know how to, what to say. I really, uh, that's very hard. Uh, so many people out here I know and have helped me over the years. have always been good friends, and I love you all, and I just can't thank you enough, the mayor and the council, for this honor. Thank you so much. And I, th and I thank my family for being here, too. Phil, we're going to make you open it. Okay. Oh, so. yeah. Maureen must have wrapped this. Maureen wrapped it in. Thank you so much. The city building, up here. black and white, yeah. very beautiful, very beautiful. Now hang it with us a honor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Congratulations, Phil. Thank you. Thank you.
Karen, Karen we have some flowers for you here. Thank you. Should get a picture in there. I'll let them get one. And I think we're done. Just need to make the announcement. We're going to take pictures for yep. you all, and now we'll be get the umbrellas in the White House. Thank you all for being here this evening. Don't forget that the volunteers receive a 50th anniversary City of Centerville umbrella when you leave, and that'll be in the outside. Again, thank you all for what you do for the city. Thank you for being here this evening. Have a good evening.